The Toyota Starlet consistently outsells the Suzuki Balino, which does not make sense given that the Balino offers more than the Starlet for less money. Alright, again. Welcome to another video. Between the two cars, the Balino is the real Magoya. But in case you weren't aware already, the Balino and Starlet are basically the same car thanks to Toyota and Suzuki's partnership. The two cars are identical twins, more like Bali and Bali Entle. On the front end, the new Suzuki Balino looks better than the previous model thanks to its cooler front lights and sportier bumpers. However, the new Starlet looks more aggressive than the Balino and in general looks slightly better. Yeah, there's just something J about that Toyota badge. But looks and everything, right? On the back and sides, the two cars generally look the same. All models come with 314 liters of boot space and the major difference on the side is the design of the rims. The Suzuki Balino only has two trim levels, the GL and the GLX. Both trim levels are either offered as a manual or an automatic. The GL costs 225,900 rands for the manual and 245,900 rands for the O2. The range topping GLX costs 275,900 rands for the manual and 295,900 rands for the O2. The Toyota Starlet on the other hand has three trim levels the XI, the XS, and the XR. Toyota have been in the game for long, so they've mastered the art of making you pay more money for features you don't even need. That's why they offer more trim levels. The XI only comes as a manual, while the XS and XR offer manual and automatic transmissions. The XI costs 226,200 rands, the XS costs 239,100 rands for the manual and 261,100 rands for the O2. The range topping XR costs 294,900 rands for the manual and 313,300 rands for the O2. Yeah, ne? Toyota Bafit. The most expensive Starlet costs a whopping 17,400 rands, more than the most expensive Balino. Purchasing the Starlet over the Balino doesn't make financial sense to me. Maraitakini. If you are still not convinced that the Balino offers better value for money, then let us check out the features of the two cars. I am convinced that Toyota created the entry level XI just to give you the engine only cause you don't get anything shame. The XI gets rear park distance control, a multifunction steering wheel, electric folding mirrors and climate control. That's all you get in the XI. You don't even get front fog lights. On the entry level model, Suzuki has really nailed it. The Balino GL manual costs less than the Starlet XI, but you get rear park distance control, front fog lights, a multifunction steering wheel, electric folding mirrors, climate control, a reverse cam, and cruise control as standard. You have to admit, those are a lot of features for an entry level car. Are you still not convinced that the Balino offers better value for money? Let us check out the range topping models, the Balino GLX and the Starlet XR. In the Starlet XR, you get keyless entry and a push start button, automatic lights and a reverse cam as standard. In the Balino GLX, you get all the features in the XR, but the Balino GLX offers a 360 degree view cam, which you don't get in the XR. The Balino GLX also gets a head-up display, which again, is not available in the XR. I'm convinced that people love poverty shame, cause the XR costs more and offers less. Maraitaki! As if that wasn't enough, 
Suzuki offers a better warranty and service plan than Toyota. In the Suzuki Balino, you get a 5-year 200,000 kilometers warranty and a 4-year 60,000 kilometers service plan. In the Toyota Starlet, you get a 3-year 100,000 kilometers warranty and a 3-year 45,000 kilometers service plan. With regards to performance, all models of the Suzuki Balino and Toyota Starlet come with a 1.5 liter engine that produces 77 kilowatts and 138 newton meters of torque. If you watched all our videos, then you already know how I feel about paying more money for the same power. But let me not go there. The top speed on the manual variance is 175 kilometers per hour and 160 kilometers per hour in the automatic. Fuel consumption is claimed at 5.7 liters per 100 kilometers in the automatic and 5.4 liters per 100 kilometers in the manual. So then, which car would I go for between the Balino and the Starlet? The automatic Suzuki Balino GL is the car I would buy. The car only costs 245,900 rands but offers great features which you don't get as standard in most cars. With that being said, I will move on to the cost of ownership for the Suzuki Balino GL02. If you finance a 245,900 rand car at the current prime lending rate of 9.75% over 60 months with no deposit and no balloon payment, then you'll pay a monthly installment of around 5,194 rands. For comprehensive car insurance, you can expect to pay around 1,000 rands depending on your risk profile. If you spend 1,500 rands a month on petrol, then this takes your total cost of ownership to around 7,694 rands each and every month. Now that's good value for money. If you love this kind of content, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. For those who are still watching, let me leave you with my final words. After finding out that the Starlet outsells the Balino by more than double, I'm convinced that South Africans love poverty. Maraitakiin! Thank you for watching.